So I am in a Google site. And what you'll notice is on the side, it does say insert. So when I go to insert and I scroll down, you have all of these options of things that you can insert. And one of the insert options, so I'm gonna put the link to my website, alicekeeler.com. I'm gonna say, go to my website. So the first top part is the text, the hyperlink text that's gonna go on the button. And the link below does have to have the HTTP, and I just click insert. Now, there's no word wrap, so you have no choice but to make the button wider if it doesn't show all of your text. How do I change the color of my button? Well, you only have a few options. You can do an outlined button, you can do a filled button, or you can do text only where this is technically a button, but it doesn't look like a button. So you can see why filled button is a little bit nicer. I'm gonna double click and add some text. I'm gonna double click and add some text. Double click and add some text because I wanna have a button on this second section. So it's real important that I've selected the section. Do you see how it has a blue box around the section? So when I go to insert a button, and insert, it actually inserted it here, uh-oh, well, in the general location of the, I had it on the second one, right? We need to have some room for it. Let's try this again. If I have it selected and I insert a button, Yes, it goes right below it so I can bring it up in, but you're gonna have to have some room to stick it in there. So you'll see my text box is very wide, so I don't have enough room necessarily for my button, and I'm gonna make it wider so you can see the full text. Now, if I have nothing selected, my, this took me a while to figure this out. I felt like this button didn't work, and watch it, they fixed it. And here I wanna insert a button up here at the top, and I go insert button, Insert, it actually puts it at the bottom. And the reason it's putting it at the bottom is because I didn't have anything selected. So you want to select the section where you want it to go. So I'm going to select this section. I'm going to insert button. And it's going to come right in below, which is pretty normal. When I insert a YouTube video or anything, it sticks it below. And so then I can then drag it up to the section that I want and make it wider, and then it makes a button on my website.